All right, let's talk about the different hotel categories. There are business hotels and conference hotels, airport hotels, resorts, all-inclusive hotels and resorts, ultra-luxury hotels, hostels, B&Bs and homestays, as well as casinos. And we're gonna talk about each one of them now. Business hotels and conference hotels. Now, business hotels and conference hotels are primarily located in or near business districts of a city. Their focus is mainly on serving business people and providing not too many family amenities. Guests stay usually between one to three nights from Monday until Friday, while weekends are typically calm. Business hotels offer usually fast internet, meeting conference rooms and a business center. Expect fast service, as the guests are usually in a rush to meeting, the airport, etc. Business hotels are usually large with a few hundred rooms. Airport hotels. Airport hotels are either near the airport or directly connected to the airport and cater to all types of guests. Most are staying just for a few hours or a day, but rarely longer. Airport hotels are 24-7 busy and so is the service. You may also have to deal with plenty of grumpy guests who either miss their flight, are super late for their flight or their flight just got cancelled. Yes, you need to have a very, very thick skin when working at an airport hotel. Airport hotels consist usually of several hundred rooms. Resorts. Resorts are primarily for vacationers and are usually located near beaches, scenic or historical areas, special attractions, ski areas, etc. Some resorts operate on seasonal basis, for example in ski regions, but most are open year-round. Guests are mostly couples and families, but rarely singles and are usually relaxed and easygoing, as they just want to relax and unwind. As long as they get what they need, all is fine. If you're looking forward to work at a luxury resort in the Bahamas, Maldives or Seychelles, for example, you will face a lot of demanding high-profile guests. Accommodation consists usually of rooms or even standalone villas, such as water villas or beach villas. All-inclusive resorts. Similar to the resource, however, the lodging is generally simpler, while all major services such as meals, soft drinks, alcoholic drinks, entertainment and water sports are included. Guests are mostly families and couples on a budget, as well as smaller groups looking mainly for partying. The all-inclusive model is currently also gaining traction among luxury hotels and resorts who started offering similar concepts. Expect usually a few hundred rooms at an all-inclusive resort. Ultra-luxury hotels and resorts. A luxury hotel is in my opinion one of the best places to work at, as you will learn a lot, plus you have the chance, at a discretion of course, to meet many famous people like actors, high-profile business people, politicians, royals, singers and so on. Ultra-luxury hotels and resorts are mainly located in prime locations and offer fully-fledged personalized service, including butlers, 24-hour restaurants, valets, exclusive dining outlets, spas, etc. Most luxury hotels consist only of a small number of rooms and villas, with some exceptions, such as the Atlantis Dubai, for example, which has about a thousand rooms, in order to focus on personalized service. Hostels a hostel is a type of accommodation that offers the perfect solution for budget-conscious travelers or simply for those looking for nothing more than a place to rest their head. Rooms offered are primarily dorms and a small number of single and double rooms. Service departments are limited to the reception and most likely a bistro or a coffee shop. In the past, hostels were mostly associated as dirty and cheap places, but this image luckily changed immensely over the past decade as hostels now gearing towards value and quality. You can even see lots of stylish boutique hostels popping up in major cities all around the globe. Guests are mostly young and solo travelers. B&Bs and homestays. B&Bs are usually guest houses, lodges and small hotels that offer small but very often cozy rooms and a morning meal. Often these guest houses are family homes that consist of somewhere between 5 to 10 rooms or, depending on the location, small huts or lodges as you can see it in the tropics, for example. The service is limited to the reception, which is most likely only open during the daytime, and breakfast service. Casinos. Picture a large, luxurious hotel or resort with plenty of gambling facilities. Found in places like Las Vegas, Macau, Monaco, and other large cities around the globe where gambling is permitted. Famous casinos are the MGM Las Vegas or the Venetian in Macau, among dozens others. 
Now, these were the main categories. However, large hotel corporations are always looking forward to reinvent the industry with new hotel concepts and smaller niches. Such as suite hotels, for example, a luxurious apartment-style accommodation for long-term travelers like consultants, lawyers or project managers. As a rule of thumb, you can say that the higher the SAR ratings are, the busier you will be. But this particular busyness comes with a fantastic yet steep learning curve, which definitely brings a lot of future opportunities for you. See you in the next lesson.